Bo, how good do you feel about your team going into the postseason after a win like this? Um, I just accept this 40 minutes for what it is and not try to project anything else. That's not the way I've done this for 40-some years. I, I, I'm really happy with the way our guys played today. But the next 40 minutes will be an entity in itself. So I'm proud of them. You know, on the road, last two games, you look at the last four that we had and knowing that we had to get at least two of them to clinch it and to get three out of the four. Bad shooting first half against Merlin. Who knows how that one would have turned out, but Bo, what did we'll you take three out, of, three out of the last four. What were you guys able to do from the beginning to take control of the game, and, and how did you guys react when you saw Ohio State had Tate on Kaminsky? We didn't change anything. Um, you know, I've had the Mike Wilkinsons. It's, he actually was he was listed, I think, at 6'8", and he was 6'6 six, six and a half. He played the five spot and played a lot of seven-footers for me. So it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the fight in the dog. And, um, you know, I, I've had guys his size play big players. So that didn't surprise us or didn't have us change anything. Bo, I know you expect that you're more than just scoring from your players, and including the reserves, but did the bench give you a little bit of a lift in that first half, something that may have been lacking in previous games? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's obvious if you look, doesn't it say 14-2 to two bench scoring? I can't remember yeah, how it ended up, but, you know, we'll take that any time. Um, they made good plays, they rebounded, played defense, you know, it doesn't have to show up in points. We're just looking for addition in any way. Well, Bronson's shot hasn't been falling up the late two last two three games, but those two three pointers he hit when when they had gotten down to seven, um, huge. How cute was that? Yeah, that, and that's Bronson. He's uh, he's a gamer, no question about that. And the drives at the basket because they crowded him. So he was able to physically get to the rim. That's uh, that was even more impressive. Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just wondering if you could just kind of comment on your team's kind of season-long focus. It seems like you have been a really pretty consistent performer all year long. And I like that consistency. You know, it's hard in this game because of the systems of other teams and you're not playing the same type of teams night after night. Teams that are strong in this area, that area. Um, yeah, it's, you know, last year we hit a we hit a rough spot of not, you know, not shooting the ball consistently and kind of took it on the chop, took it, uh, you know, in the face a couple times. And then we came back at the end of the year. But I think, um, you know, you just have to say, you look at Rutgers, you look at a guy like Frank who actually had to sit out a game, and you see how much he means to us. It really magnifies how good Frank Kaminsky is and how he influences the people around him. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've liked our approach to practice, the way they've come every day. I like their they, – they know, they know when uh, – when we need to knuckle down and, and certain things to work on. And they're not bashful that way. Their, their work ethic is pretty good. Bo, along those same lines, um, you mentioned getting, needing two out of four, getting three out of four. With, with having clinched the other night, did you have any question in your mind how your guys might play today, or were you confident they I played? really didn't, not because of how old they are, because of the experience. Um, I mean, at least – that if we were going to get knocked down, it wasn't going to be because we weren't out there diving for loose balls, playing hard, playing tough. Yeah, no, they didn't come in thinking anything other than we're playing a good team who's playing well now and one of the better players in the country. And no, our, our guys knew the task at hand. Along those lines, uh, you mentioned Russ and D'Angelo Russell. Do you think Josh made him work for some things today that perhaps in other games he hasn't had to work for? Yeah, I think Josh makes a lot of people work. Uh, you know, he does in practice every day, and he, he's never taken a possession off. Um, 
in the years he's been in the years he's been with us. And you know, Hollins, he did a great job on Hollins uh, the other night. Both these games being on the road and him bringing his defense. You can always take your defense on the road. Uh, and he certainly brought his. Bo, well, I know you have a week, to, a week to go, but are you guys a one seed? I, I don't know. I, I know Johnny Appleseed. I don't know about one seed. Uh, I, you know, last year people started asking me those things, and I was like, I, I don't. I, knew, I wouldn't know Joe Lenardi if he was standing right here right now. I don't know about the seeds. I never look at that. We always turn the channel at home when they start talking seeds. <laughs> Analytics. I told you I was doing points per possession in 1972, coaching in junior high school. Now it's a big stat. It's a big deal. I've always thought it's a big deal. And you got to remember, I had a sense of humor too when you guys.